Hello, anyone who will be watching now later on on YouTube, Helene here, along with... Lucky Europe! And just doing some... Yeah, I started a bit late with this. So, okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah, today we'll be going a bit of a different something Sunday, in that I will be running a theme, and there's the music again. And uh, yeah, I'll be showing two roguelite games. Uh, one of which, well, the first one here is Void Bastards. I finished just uh, yesterday, <laughs> or I finished a playthrough of. Uh, some people would say that to finish a game is to 100% it, but uh, I typically just go through the story. If it's, if I liked it, I'll do more. And uh, well, I like this one. <laughs> so yeah, Void Bastards. As you can see, it has a bit of a comic book style appearance. And it will show here as well. I could click continue, but hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is something that I find annoying with some games is that you can only have one save file. So yeah. if I click continue, what will happen then? Because okay, that just throws you back until the just before the <coughs> just before uh, the ending. Because he has said I finished it. So let's do a new game. Let's see. Normal difficulty. Crumbling Nebula. What is. I can't turn that on or off. Testing, testing. Hmm? One, two, three. Ah, uh, wrong phone. Uh, Disco did that thing again and it just became, it became a small black square and restarted itself. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, easy peasy, easy, normal, hard, hard bastard. <laughs> okay, yeah, I finished this on normal. Um, Iron Man, that's you. I, I think Iron Man is typically just don't die or. Let's see, restriction, only firearms, only indirect, only devices, unarmed. Okay, so these are for jet. Well, <coughs> for challenge runs, because I saw in the achievements that there are achievements for completing a playthrough with either one of these or just completely unarmed with this. But just for the sake of it, showing everything, let's just go with the normal. But I will, s I do want to see what this crumbling nebula thing it does. And just to show it off, the tutorial. Oh dear. Sam. No being hell. Void Ark didn't pass his bloody checkpoint. Well, file a 61P to head office. Unfulfilled delivery of resources. If it's in this old gasso nebula, clients will be lost anyway, eh? Yeah, I think so. Let's slog off and get rat arsed instead. <laughs> hey, wait, okay, I'm not seeing chat. Chat boxes. Uh, away from here, but I do have my on my you know, phone here. So uh, hey, Lassie, uh, Laffy Tan Lass, did it? Where is that thing? I had a bit. Of, I had to rush a bit with this today. Okay, where is the chat? You dogs. It's it's been turned off. OBS being shifty again. Okay, where were we? The Sargosa Nebula, 283 light, ways, light years away. Whoops-a-daisy. It looks like you've run out of bullets. Ammunition requests can be filed at the Void Arc. Oh dear. Return to the Void Arc is currently prohibited. This prohibition will be lifted when you obtain the line printer, or in the event of your death. Yep, as you can see, it has a comic book style appearance, similar to that uh, game 13, I think. It, that got a remake recently, and everybody hated it because of how sloppily it was made. But uh, yeah, this is a roguelite-ish, uh, a first-person uh, stealth shooter. You open things with right, and you can see 
sound effects make well <laughs> actual sound effects in this. Let's see, we can also lock doors like that with, by pressing this over here. The bar shows how fast or how slow it will close. And yeah, we were basically just cowering. <laughs> we were cowering in the janitor's closet. This door is broken. We can't open it. And yeah, here we have our first enemy. A, what the game calls a janitor. <laughs> they, were, they don't look like they'll be doing much cleaning. Yeah. Ugh. A... For this time, it it, ma it makes me think of the new Resident Evil VR game. I think it's a VR game. They use this as well and try to be a bit horror themed. It seems to be mixed reception for. Like people thought it was nice, but it was they weren't sure if it really fit horror theme. Did you know the line printer is likely located in the admin cubes? Okay, we want that. ETA for arrival of supply vessel, three days. Probability of survival for three days, 8%. Uh, yeah, we're on an administration ship here. And with the tab, we open the, the map, as it says. Let's see the cubes over here. We can hover over all of these to see what they are and what there might be over there. Yes, uh, haven't seen you in the Rev server for a while. Uh, yeah, I've been busy with life and, well, streams and other <laughs> servers. Let's see, we're in the file area, where scribes use computers to file records, good source for nebula tubes. Over here we have security, ID cards are issued, and laminated, good source of merits. Merits are the money system in this game. Sanitation, where janitors inspect for dirt and grime. Atmosphere, where compressed air is released for inhalation because these ships have a limited air supply, which is basically our, well, <coughs> our time limit for how long we can be in here. FDL, where things happen to make the vessel move, <laughs> good source of fuel. The generator, radioactive fluids flows through tubes, generate power. We'll probably be visiting here pretty frequently on different ships. Uh, over here we see what file, what type of ship this is. This is a CNT filing boat, named Sephiris. Nice. Habitation, where staff dress, undress, and otherwise waste time. <laughs> Good source of food. And the cubes, where it says cubicles. Reg where regulations and circulars are born. Good source of staples and plants, which is plastic. And then last, but not least, the helm. The helm where Zacks talk and make decisions about the vessel. The helm is is the main objective on most ships, uh, if we can reach them, because of this here, provides loot locations. Because we cannot see where all of the loot that we have to, f or that we can find, is on this ship. Oh dear. But if we get near, we can we can see it in the <coughs> in the mini map up in the upper right, left. Ugh. Uh, yeah, for now, we are advised to head towards the cubicles, so let's do so. Oh. Yeah, two more enemy types, a screw and some juves. You, yeah, it, it's pretty obvious from the fact that its name is in red, that we do not want the screw with the screw. Yeah. And these guys have seen us, but they can't reach us. Yeah, glass wall in the way. This uh, game actually start to remind me of something about spaceship I saw on a documentary on YouTube. Okay. Uh, about uh, how they would actually design spaceship for the future for longer distance and. Uh, OHS regulations require you to avoid being incinerated by gunpoints. Like as I was saying, apparently the helm will not be in the front of the ship when we go that far in the technology. We actually will have the helm in the center of the ship. Oh. Uh, yeah, because, well, if it were at the front, it'd be the first thing to get struck by mini asteroids and space junk. Yeah, so having it in the middle of the ship would make more sense. Uh, and yeah. Obviously, gun points are the security guns. We, if they see us, they will shoot us. <laughs> we don't want to get shot. 
Yeah. And <laughs> Levy Lass in the chat again, your stream's buffering a lot. I can't say because, well, I haven't had ma many people uh, comment on that. So, yes. yeah. I Sometimes it buffers and sometimes it doesn't. So. Also, you don't want to know, Hope. You don't want to know how long it took me to realize that uh, loot locations appear on the mini map. I was like halfway through the game before I finally realized. <laughs> Even though it just it just said it in the th yeah, right there. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes brain won't work properly or will be a bit buffering. Be sure to note this requisition of a line printer in your parole hearing. Return to the Steve is now recommended. Yeah, yeah that's uh, where is the thing? It's back all the way over there. Yeah, and for new people, I don't have buffering on my end for, well, he showed me the feed live. Yeah, I'm, I'm streaming to him through Discord. Which might explain why the stream could be buffering. Yeah, Pardon, no, just it, back from breakfast. Yeah, it, when I used to watch your streams before being a co-host, it did sometimes buffer, depending on the game. Some games maybe buffer way more than others. But for me now, I can't. I don't see buffering, but instead, FYI, it can get pixelated. Dangerous occurrences is approaching. Might I suggest a rapid evacuation? Uh, that music, that music is going to be a thing there. <laughs> oh dear. Addendum. The vessel is docked and dangerous occurrences are now imminent. Looks like we lost some survivors. Do a sweep and clear the ship. <laughs> yep, space pirates. And they just absolutely melt our health. to replacement client. Yep. <laughs> yep, uh, game over then I guess. But not. Client expired. Please card and unregistered acquisitions. Retrieving remote weapons. Steve cleared for return to Voidark. Yep, basically this means we can die uh, in the in a level or in the ship uh, and we can continue on from there, but that means that everything we didn't bring back we lose. Yeah. The Pell backpack was busy itself with paperwork. And I wonder, filed. Steve cleared for docking. Is the damn backpack attached to your spine? Yeah, not the spine specifically, I'm guessing, but to something with that pink fluid. Let's see. Location Sargeso Nebula, one million cargo, one million F dried peanut clients, status adrift, all hands lost. The void arc. Let's see. WCP client care package. The Yellow Collins. Offense, hoverboarding in a Krell reactor facility. What? <laughs> yeah, each of these characters have a ran somewhat randomized appearance. Well, a random name. They also have a first name. And, yeah, oh, here. Viola Collins, prisoner V8830511. We have their offense, which can go from, well, the absolutely silly to the plain stupid like this. Though I would, I think just going through a reactor at high speed would be a pretty stupid and dangerous thing to do. Yeah. And well, hey, look at her face. Yeah, she's seen some shit. <laughs> yeah. But uh, see, well, you'll see in a short bit. Uh, each client can have up to three, uh, up to three 
traits. I've only seen them start with one or two. And we have good ones, like in green, like thick skinned here. Damage by radiation at half the normal, which is a pretty good one for later on. For now though, I doubt we'll see much use of it. And yeah, we get some starting equipment, fuel, food, some cash, and some ammo. Congratulations. You have been selected to assist with an emergency staff turnover. Yep, in this world, prisoners are, well, dehydrated <laughs> into a pack of instant ramen. Yeah, freeze dried even. Ugh. I can't really tell if that is it shredding it right there on the spot, or yeah, I, I think that is just shredding it on the spot because this thing is just plain stupid. Yeah, though, I think they sh they supposed to shred them after you're being yacht. Yeah. So the parts you need are a line printer and an ID card. And but yeah, now we have our first objective get <laughs> make a new valid ID card and for that there was always two to three items that we need to uh, complete that step in this case a line printer and an ID card once you have the parts you can assemble them on the Steve's workbench And here we are at the workbench. We'll be spending quite a bit of time here, because here we can make our weapons, our indirect weapons, and situate more situational items, and just general upgrades, like uh, s decrease oil slip time by 50%, this one gives extra fire d damage resistance, and an extra health, and other abilities, like here the merit badge, uh, 10% chance for an instant free authorization. Uh, door super fast door lock and unlocking. Authorization to override sec bots. Just general upgrades. Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be wanting each of these weapons because well we can we can't use them until we build them and we won't get ammo for them. Well, we might find ammo for them, but we can't. That'll be absolutely useless until we make them. When we yeah. over hover over something, we can see what it is needed to make it, and we can find these things over here. Because we can build these things ourselves if we have the right materials. Like to build a, a buzz box to make bushwhackers, which are basically C4 proximity grenades. We need 20 data and 20 volts. But yeah, since we don't have anything yet, we'll just have to go find stuff. It w the game will point us towards one or the closest item that uh, we do need for our main objective, which is shown over here. Be we can't move this map though, which is a bit of an annoyance that other people have noted as well, since we can't look too far ahead. But yeah, it isn't too bad. But for now. Here's our stats, 400 health, two, uh, enough fuel for two jumps, enough food for two days, and 30, 30 merits. These here are also useful. The warp keys we can use to basically jump from here all the way to here if we wanted to. That can be very useful. Torpedoes, was, well, automatically destroys pirates or whales. Which, yeah, we, we'll want to not be able, we don't want to deal with either of those. And the hard starters are basically one-ups. And beyond that we have our ammunition, because, well, <laughs> he did keep to that note and gave us more ammo. Now let's see. Progression in this game is always on a forward basis. We can go, we are always going to the right, 
or down, but we can never go we can never go to the left. We will be able to go back up if needed. But if a line is like this, then we can only go this way, not from this ship to that ship. Uh, let's see. Exxon Ambulance, Saint Jacquina. Uh, it features a medical terminal, which will restore our health. No need for yet. It, we can find spikes on it and bio. And it has the FDL nozzle for it, which we can use to build a stapler. Each of these ships will have these boxes over here. They will also show what enemies there are. Not in exact numbers, but in vague ones, like some, few, or it goes up to shed loads, which will mean that the <laughs> ship is absolutely flooded with them. We've seen juves, we've seen janitors, we haven't seen tourists yet though. And like our clients, each ship can have up to three conditions. In this case, security deactivated, which means that the, sec well, the security is deactivated. The turrets and the cameras are inactive, but... This one, Nebula Twister salvage locations are randomized. I don't really think I've seen too much of an effect of that. I presume, I haven't really noticed myself, I presume that certain parts uh, can be found more likely in well, areas related to them. So an FTL nozzle we'd probably find more likely in the FTL area. But I'm guessing this means that we might as well find it in the helm or generator or somewhere completely different. Yeah, it probably something like that. It's not nothing too major. And yeah, we have two options. We can eat some food to rest and heal, but we are at full health, so there's no need for that. Or we can jump over there, which we shall do. Over here you can see depth two, these ladders. The these basically the depth is a level of difficulty. The deeper we go, the more tough the tougher the enemies will be and the tougher the conditions can get. For now though, we are here, so let's dock. We have only our pistol to equip, so let's board. Uh, uh, I say, I'm glad that we don't live in this universe. Yeah. <laughs> the bureaucracy has become an issue unto itself. Let's see. Before we, well, okay. once we've entered, we'll get to see a map of the place, which are generally randomized to a degree. There are still certain amounts of, there are still some maps that I think I've seen a few times. But yeah, new areas over here are the marts, where organs are obtained, good source of spikes and bio. And the theater, where bodies are opened for repair and enhancement. Over here is the, also that medical station. But yeah, we'll want to beeline for the helm, unless... Okay. The nebula has caused citizens to assume irregular forms. I'm sure no one would blame you for murdering them. Yeah, now we're... Oh, there's a... Tourists are... Yeah, tourists are basically walking bombs. Walking icky gooey bombs. Nope. And yes, as they say, folks, Fuel it's not illegal. Can be downloaded at the helm. Right, I was saying, it's not illegal to kill mutants, apparently. Oh, gunpoint. Close that. Gunpoint okay, the windows what? are broken so we can just walk in. Yep. Aren't the gunpoints deactivated? Yep, yeah. <laughs> There's still... I've played this enough to have that reflex there. If I see gunpoint, I duck. <laughs> because those will get tougher as well the deeper you go. They'll go from just gunpoint to uh, full-on rocket launchers. Let's have a little look here. You, you can generally identify an enemy by the sounds that they make. With these taps always being juves. And yeah, general gaming logic applies. If you shoot them in the head, it deals more damage, double damage to be exact. Now, let's see, download ship data. And now we can see where everything is, especially the part that we're after. I can't help to uh, question the engineering uh, intelligence and... 
I feel like most of those gun points actually could do more harm to the ship than the intruders. Yeah, I'm presuming that the well, these these windows and such, and the walls around them are tough enough to be able to withstand bullets. Well, are <laughs> we just saw that they are? But yeah, generally windows in a spaceship would be a weak point that yeah, people that just would not do. Yeah, as quickly cracks like that, it's just a, a matter of time for it to break. Or yeah, here's another thing that many people don't know. There are something called micro comets, which are small and can pierce through ships. And I think that they have had many problems with them on the current space station around Earth. That they sometimes break equipment. And if we plan to travel further away with high speed, we definitely need to skip windows probably altogether. Yeah, there is, a, there is at least one big window on the ISS, but the glass of that is like as thick as if your fist. Yeah. Or even thicker. Yeah. So that one is not meant to, you know, force travel. Yeah. <laughs> so that one hopefully should handle microcomets. Yep. Yeah. If you get too close to these guys, they'll explode on their own. Luckily, you can sprint backwards in this game. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was a bit of a lucky shot. Yeah, the, ac the accuracy in this game isn't too high. The sh if I shoot, it will be anywhere in the crosshair. No matter if I'm moving or standing still. Uh, well, you do seem to have a... You can requisition supplementary oxygen in Atmo modules. As I say, you do have a, well, primitive gun for that tech uh, level standard. Oh. And that just proved what that was. That is a rift from which enemies will respawn. Yeah, this is a game, people, where if you think you can just shoot everything in a ship it and you'll be left alone, you're wrong. You mm. need to be tactical with your ammunition and use the environment. Yeah, the people who worked on this were actually people who have worked on Bioshock and System Shock. So, yeah, the, it is a bit of a sort of survival horror-like. Well, it certainly has the horror, and it, you need to survive. Yep, and it, this game kind of proves, it shows for me that you can make a scary game that looks cartoony. Okay, red chest like this, we need to pay to open them up, but they'll always have a part in them, or sometimes even two. Yeah, I kind of have to wonder if this is a universe where capitalism and bureaucracy just went haywire. Yeah, more like the complete bio you know, bureaucracy, because, yeah, it's illegal to self rates. that, and <laughs> apparently according to the BAX unit. I'm not sure if that actually explained for what that stands for. Yeah. But here's the thing about, I remember about bureaucracy. Um, if I'm wrong, do your people are ready to correct me? Bureaucracy is supposed to make things go smooth and well. So nothing can go through too quickly and all that. So less mistake. But there is a point where too much bureaucracy can slow down progress extremely and just cause more problems instead. Yeah, that, that's with a lot of bureaucracy even today, where it's supposed to be able that things can be traced back to others. And yeah, we can just look out the window. Okay, uh, I'll have to check if, if if these are ships that are nearby or not. Okay, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't noticed actually other ships in the area hovering. I've just junk that's hovering everywhere. And yeah, we're in the atmosphere chamber, so we can use this. To refill the oxygen supply, but there is a limited amount. So even if we keep running back here, it'll s still be. <coughs> we'll still have to bail out sooner or later. But we can extend the oxygen supply over here. Though I don't know if it will plane double it right now or ac actually just, 
objective because this thing only has 15 seconds left. What will this do? Okay, it doubles it. And oh, and it refills this. Okay, so that is a very useful one. Nice. I haven't actually needed to extend the a a the oxygen on the ship too often before because yeah, w now we started with 7 minutes. Later on we'll see ships where they only have like 2 minutes of air inside of them. Uh. Oh, what were you to say about bureaucracy? Uh, yeah, today already a lot of people think that it that it just slows things down, but it's supposed to be that there's accountability and that well, things are done well because we've You've all seen in the news at some point probably of a bridge collapsing somewhere because some jackass uh, leading a company decided to cheap out on materials or so. Uh, yeah, bureaucracy is supposed to prevent stuff like that from happening, but it doesn't always prove to be the you know, prove to work. But that's kind of the that's kind of a negative of systems like that. If it's working, you don't notice. If it fails, then you notice. Yeah, especially when it slows down things too much, like here. Okay. Uh, We've got our stuff, we got two parts, we got a bunch of fuel, some food, and well, we found these. <laughs> these we can just store away. And the rest we recycle for materials. I don't want to see what sort of blender we have to put that stuff through. <laughs> yeah, I'm very disturbed that they, you can just go to a mach Wendy machine to buy organs. Yeah. Because I wonder why? Do you have a machine at home that installing the new organ or something? Or why would you buy the new organ? Just yeah, like I, that? Yeah, I presume if you were to buy organs on this ship you'd uh, you'd also have to have them installed so to speak on the same ship yeah, for now though yeah. we can build the stapler which is basically a shotgun this thing will start out a bit weak your kpis are really trending up kpis it, it throws some terms at you and this doesn't explain at times but yeah it's it's a shotgun it fires six staples <laughs> Uh, it will start off a bit weak because it, it's a shotgun. It's going to its its aim is going to be bad unless you're right up in something's face. But once upgraded to the max, this thing will this thing will get you through even the, the lowest depths or the deepest depths. We can also buy the buy make the bullet hunter here, which well these will just add extra. These will ensure that. Well, ammunition spawns in more places, specifically in habitation modules. And since every ship should have a habitation module, proactive work. I'm making a note for your parole hearing. Yeah, nearly every ship will have a habitation as module, so we'll we'll find plenty of ammo with this. We can't make anything else at the moment, so off to the star map. This nebula, a desolate void filled with derelict vessels. Unauthorized persons have boarded these vessels and requisitioned parts from them in an unauthorized fashion. Yep, all of these ships have fallen victims to space pirates as well. Yep, and um, as you hear, people, there are even bureaucracy against survival. So, yeah, I feel like if, you, if you're one of the people here that has survived and get rescued, you may have a go to Yale because you broke laws just in order to survive. Yeah. And I think in today's standard, you will get away with it because they will understand that you did this to survive. Okay, we now have the choice between a Krell hauler called the Last Coffin. We can find fuel and toaster juice. Toaster juice. Uh, the toaster is the next weapon that we can make, but beyond that, every material can be found there. Wait, Krell Hall... Colin, do not hoverboard near it! <laughs> no, there's a react... There was a reactor ship, I think, you can check it out here. In a Krell reactor facility. 
Okay, so she should be safe in here. <laughs> <laughs> you should always just lost coffin. Okay, there's security is deactivated in this one as well, but there's a lot of smoke. Smoke isn't too bad because it only blocks vision, which it ha it's a double-edged sword. Uh, we have some tourists and some screws in here, but what's over here? A CNT permit boat again, Helenus. Here we can find staples and merits and plans, and we already found an FTL nozzle. I, not I think. I don't know if they're used for anything else. Uh, same enemies, no modifiers, but we c we can go from this one to that one. So let's go. And doc, we now have the stapler as well. But let's go with the pistol for now, since we have a bit more ammo for that. And it's only janitors and tourists, and we, <laughs> even if we'd wanted to fight a screw, we'd lose. Yeah, and I think I just realized a yoke with that gun you picked up. Oh? Regulator. Yep. As in, it's just regular gun? Or it's in used for enforcing regulations. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Okay, that we have sense. we have two serve areas where citizens wait for documents to be printed. Good source of merits. Uh, cubicles we've already seen. A break room where citizens consume food and drink. Good source of food. And yeah, it's always random at which of these airlocks you start. Sometimes they will, the ship will have airlocks at the back and the front, and and it can be. You can have a bad or a good start, depending on how close you are to the helm, or how close you are to the generator, in case the power is off, because... Oh, it... Speaking of, objective, restore power. Of course. Yeah. If a ship is without power, it doesn't show it at uh, the and on the world map. You'll only find out once you enter. And when the power is off, everything is on an emergency power, you can't close doors. Oh dear. But in exchange, all of the security is off as well. I think we'll get. Why is there a permit ship? If there was a permit space station, fine. But why do we have a ship? The flash around space and giving out permits. Probably because it takes too long for everyone to be able to travel to a station, and there's a screw. Do you have a ship travel to them for it? Yeah, probably more like travel to air through areas. We do not want the screw with the screw. I made that joke again. Yep, and God, I don't know if that's a really like, good idea or at all or what. For it feels like it just makes more problems, especially if they get lost in nebulas like this. And another big drawback of when the ship is undepowered you can't open lockers for some reason, because apparently they're all mag-locked and shut or something. Uh, oh, be right back. Okay, some tourists over there. People will have noticed that there's carpet here and there in ships. It's a bit hard to see in the red light here. And we need to go to the other side. Yeah, if you're walking... If you run around you'll start making noise, which can attract enemies to you. If, but if you run on carpet, you don't make noise. But as you can see, some patches of the carpet can be loose, so you'll have to keep an eye out for that. And we can still luckily pick up all of these loose laying items, which, well, they don't show up on the map. Okay, a scriber, which is just a pen with a different name. Now, where is that screw? Okay, I'm hoping it's in security there, because it, it's over here. We're going to have a bit of trouble. And yeah, no power, we also can't refill the atmosphere, luckily it, we can just go down here, restore it, and now the place has power again. Oh, 
over here we have something. Sometimes these vents will be open for random reasons and and well we can crawl through them but enemies cannot except for the Jews because they are short and tourists uh, actually okay I was trying to shoot the, <laughs> the tourists because the bl their explosion damages enemies as well but yeah I guess the janitor's hitbox was just in front of it uh, let's see Back. Welcome back. Oh, screw. Actually, um, no. Come on, big boy. Lock that. And, uh, just not in time. Yeah, if you time it right, you can lure an enemy into a room and. Wait. Because it takes a bit of time, you. you if you're lucky, you can lure an enemy into a room and lock the door whilst they're passing through it. Because, yeah, that screw would have been completely sealed in there. And yes, sealing big, sealing enemies into a room is the best way of dealing with them. Because that, if an enemy is killed... But lock the door. If an enemy is killed, they'll just respawn at their rifts. Yeah. Just make sure when you lock them in, it's, it's not a room you need to go back to. Yeah. So it is a very tactical game. Yeah, not extremely tactical, but it does help a lot to, well, to think about what you're doing. Oh yeah, so. it's not go guns blazing here. Get his attention. Okay, start locking. Get in here. Are we... Wait. Huh? I'm, I'm pretty sure I hit the lock button there. Hmm. Yeah. I can still try to shoot at us through that, but... Yeah. <laughs> no luck on it there. See, can we rush around to lock it in? Nope. A bit of fuel here. And there's the FTL nozzle. And that's actually everything that we need in here. Or everything big that we can p pick up. So we can just rush out now. There might still be... Some loose bits here and there, but oh, yes, the stomping is a sign of a screw being nearby. <laughs> yeah, and they are quite tanky, if I remember right. Yeah, they can they can take. A lot of bullets. Uh, let's lock that one over there. Okay, this is the cure. This is the security department. You will notice it has these big ass doors here that say secure. And these, these, for these you need to pay to authorize to lock them. The reason you'd want to do that is because what should be over here. This is where a security bot would be. But since we're only in the first depth, they aren't yet. Security but yeah, alive. security bots, uh, if those get activated, they'll hunt you down and they can deal a lot of damage. But they can't open secure doors. So if you lock this door, if, if there's a, a security bot in here and you lock the door, they are stuck. They're completely harmless unless you walk by and they shoot you through the glass windows and such. Or through the broken glass windows. And it is it is possible to sort of crouch jump through the higher ones, but it's a tricky thing. Mm -hmm. And even if you've sealed a security bot in, you'll still want to avoid uh, 
getting spotted by security because we oh we we haven't gone to the helm yet to see if there's anything else. Let's take a quick look then. Okay, whole cards. Let's okay. There's still quite a bit around. Hmm. Indeed. And it's here. I can hear a screw stomping around over there. Are we approaching the one hour mark? Uh, forty forty-seven minutes with like three minutes of freeze time. So, oh. Okay, a good thing I heard that. Uh, let's stick around a tiny bit longer. <laughs> I get distracted by the screw and end up getting shot in the back. Okay, no going that way then. Okay. Yes, that screw is probably in the cubicles area still. So let's have a look. If it is here, then we're bailing. And enemies will only make noise if they're moving around. So if they're just standing still, uh, yeah, you might just walk into something bad. <laughs> okay, some staples. And let's not get hurt too much more. And just get out. Food, and we need to pay to unlock this. Which will mean, of course, that... Okay, transit racks. Those are made for ammo finder, used for ammo finders, I think. Okay, store that away. Food is our most useful material for resource for now. Fuel, of course, is, u is needed as well to just get from point to point. Okay, gunpoint manager. This allows us to override gunpoints to turn them <laughs> to turn them friendly to us. Of course, we'll have to pay for that, but it's better to well pay them than to get shot to death by them. Okay, a lock ship. An XTC st <laughs> stim detected there, which we need for the zapper. The zapper is really good. You'll probably be using that through most of the game, but for now. Let's go over here. We have plenty of food, so we the rest. The has detected a vessel crewed by unauthorized persons of the same type that boarded the Void Ark. These vessels are highly correlated with dangerous occurrences. Yes, space pirates. They're, they're over here. Pirates follows you onto vessels. And you can see how quickly they can kill you uh, by the tutorial. Y you were supposed to die in the tutorial, by the way. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, these will move around on the map as well. And if we run into them, then it's trouble. But for now, let's go on to the last coffin. We're low on pistol ammo, so let's take the stapler. It's only tourists and screws. Tourists we can just detonate by getting too close and running away. Okay, the, the power is on. Because it doesn't say that we need to fix the power there. We're starting here the FTL. Okay. The fix module. Where things are taken apart or put back together. These are nice places because of these. We can upgrade We can upgrade junk that we find to a higher grade. Which makes them more valuable. So if we find like a finger. We can turn it into a hand over here. Don't ask how or why. Which gives 5 bio instead. And we also have hold modules here, where crate-related work is done but with heavy tools, good source of toaster juice and junk. Okay. Let's see, we start off right at security, so let's check. No security bots. So there's no reason at all to seal this door. And yeah, with this we can shut down security for 45 seconds. But it has a limited amount of uses. But we can also pay to have it all shut down. 
So, since we have a bunch of merits, let's do that. I don't get why you do need to pay for that. Like, imagine how annoying it is to work that you need to pay for everything you do just to work. Well, money does grease the uh, wheels of bureaucracy. So, yeah, we're basically bribing the ship. <laughs> Uh, hence why I almost thought there was a some form of capitalism for. They also want to get money for everything possible. Okay, refill this a bit. There's nothing of value in here, or nothing of much too much value. Lots of. Sm even when we can't see enemies, we can generally hear them. And there's the FTL nozzle. So, yeah, <laughs> only now figuring out that most of the parts are in places where you could generally expect them to be. But yeah, those are tourists shedding around in the area. Okay, I, I didn't quite hear what that was saying on these speakers. Nor did I. But yeah, every type of ship of every different organization, or every different organization has their own uh, announcements and music actually as well. And of course, uh, color palette. Yep. And some minor special things that they have. So it's easier to. Uh, some of them is basically just recolor, but the, I think it's the Japanese ones and the luxury ones are more obvious that they are different from the others. Yeah. Okay, there's some tourists over here. You can also take a guess at how many of something is in a room by how many of the sounds there are. And, and that's exactly what. That proves that. Yeah, enemies only makes noise when they're moving, because we didn't see any stomping noises here. But there is obviously a screw in here somewhere. There it is. Ah, and I overlooked the tourist. Okay, we should be careful now. It hasn't... It can see us through the glass, but otherwise the smoke did block us from being spotted there. So yeah, you can stay in there and just rot in hell. Alright. Anything in here? Oh, tourists! And dead. Hey Brilliant, how are you doing? Yeah, it, it speeds this up quite a bit once you start dying more and more. <laughs> yep, that, we lost that FDL drive, but we still keep what we've made beforehand. OHS violations have resulted in a premature end of life situation. Recruiting replacement client. Lloyds. Issuing WCD client care package. Insured. We receives one merit for every 1% of health lost, but paranoid. Randomly hears voices. Yeah, look at this screw with things. Wait. Offense. Distressing citizens through ex ex excessively agitated behavior. He really looks agitated and paranoid. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's a nice detail that they... Maybe they're not too randomized that if you have someone that has these qualities, they have the face and other things matching it. Yeah, I've had a, another paranoid uh, client before, and they also had well, stuff in their ears to block it out. So, <laughs> yeah, Elmo is a bit unlucky here. Also, just a little note, Genpop A to Z. 
and uh, yeah, all that the, all those one million prisoners, they're in one filing cabinet. Uh, well, these are several. Uh. There's just something funny about it dumping the bag in as well. It doesn't even bother to put it into the trash or something. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't get why just dump the bag as well like that. Why? Uh, because cheap. Also, since we made the stapler gun now, we also get staples for ammo. But you won't always get ammo for every weapon that you start with. The parts you need are a line printer and an ID card. Okay, I'm just getting a screenshot of that to, to cut the that last page out. A, client. a little scrubbing with bleach should remove the blood stains. Yep, this is uh, where we'll get most of our progression because everything we make in here stays. Everything in here, well. All of these parts stay, but everything are in our personal inventory, like uh, our ammo, that gets lost. Let's see, how are we on time? 55 minutes is, so let's do one more ship. We have a WNC client care vessel, or basically another prison ship. Let's see, features therapy, which can provide us with new traits or remove bad ones. We can find bullets and zap charges and slag. And we moved back a bit on the map. I'm not sure if this one was here before. Seems both of them have friends on board. Oh, oh, that that is a very useful one. Yeah, one type of citizen is allied, which in this case could mean the screws, which would be which would make everything here a cakewalk, or the janitors, which would uh, at least allow for distractions because screws are very are generally in low numbers. They're mutated security personnel, if people hadn't figured that out by themselves yet. And there's a food cache somewhere on the ship. So yeah, let's get over here. And let's at least try to do both of these ships quick. To show them off. Yeah, I'm up for that. Okay, let's see. We're close to the helm. And then we can just go to gene therapy and rush through the place if needed. Oh, never mind. Let's see, where is it? Gen yeah, it's on the complete other end of the ship. <laughs> okay. It'd be more useful for us if the janitors are friendly. Because those are in larger amounts. Oh dear. Okay, that was easy enough. That's the combat sound going off. It means, means that the two factions have met somewhere. Oh. That purple glow designates an ally. Let's see, who is it that we have allied to us? If, if, it's, the, if it's the janitors, then we might be getting a face full of needles here. Oh, yes, it's the janitors. And... We somehow didn't get hit by any of that. So Yanthus is our ally? Yep. Okay. Which is the better case. The, sp the screws would be uh, better in combat, but yeah, as you see, the janitors are more plentiful. So they can just go distract each other. Nothing in here. I should have checked the minimap for that. Are you two following me? Okay, the tombs, which is basically just a big prison cell. Yeah, the, the, here they do not freeze dry you. Yeah, probably transporting people to be uh, freeze dried. Oh, and I forgot about security. Sometimes enemies will drop junk like this. And it's deactivated, quickly rush in there. With some time, uh, janitors could probably destroy this. Uh, actually, just they're just going to try. <laughs> they could try to. De oh, they can destroy the gunpoint like that. And yes. Uh, hello. You two want something of me? 
So, uh, nice weather, huh? Even though the weather outside is a bit shitty. Yeah, third one. Oh, is this a janitor <laughs> convention or something? <laughs> Okay, let's sneak in here, deactivate the security, and just rush through the rest. Ah, over here, therapy, let's see. Replace insured with thick skins, remove paranoids, and add small appetite. Let's remove this one. It would have made things a bit more easy, interesting for us for now, but it can also get very distracting. Because, yeah, the paranoid... The voices that you can hear aren't limited to uh, the uh, the citizen types that are on a ship. So if you you could hear Juves on a ship when there are zero on the place, uh, which would give it be a dead giveaway that there aren't any nearby. But it can also randomly start the combat music as well. Yo, I'm back with my food. Welcome back again. And uh, is there something you want, Walter? Issues are dirty, sir. Well, I know of one way to deal with that. Bye bye. <laughs> Screw you! Alright. I'm sure that was even British accent I made. Okay. Let's refuel the atmosphere. And let's just grab some last things here. Oh, Merit's nice. Ooh. Goodbye. Is there another way in there? There is another way in there. The habitation has a lot of stuff. Is there an open vent here somewhere? The vents are a bit rare when they are open. And yeah, this ship is pretty dark, but it get there are ships that are are even darker. It's even a modifier on four ships. Okay, grab some fuel because if we run out of fuel, we'll start drifting around, which will start to waste our foods very quickly. So yeah, we'll we'll want we want to have enough fuel to be able to move from place to place. Hear us. Hey. Oh boy. Don't tell me it's right outside the door. Uh, oh, we found free food in that locker. Uh, ooh. Uh, let's just leave the garbage for the garbage. Because that's what this area is garb, where junk is de deposited. And uh, let's leave uh, Walter and all the other janitors to their face with this to be screwed by the screws. Hello, passing through. Uh, sorry, wrong way. <laughs> Don't mind me. Thank you for that, jackass. It's yet bad. And out. Oh god, just may imagine. Imagine if we actually had our name, I could say, Yak Bass. Okay, now we have a bunch of food. It is generally more useful than fuel, unless you're low on fuel, of course, because with food we can heal. And the longer we're alive with the character, the more ammunition and such, and the more credits we have to, uh, well, screw around with things on, on ships. Okay. We're at about an uh, over an hour, but let's do this la ship here, and then we'll move over to the second game. Let's see, we have a new uh, enemy here, an outpatient, uh, but there's an EM static field. We won't have our minimap available on this, which can be very annoying, of course, since we won't be able to see where loot is, or where loot lockers are. Not the heck, it's luxurious. And uh, yeah, <laughs> purple and diamonds everywhere. Golden diamonds. And, oh, something is already fighting each other. Because yeah, that's the combat music for luxury ships. Also, the authorization on these are download enemy locations. It won't give exact locations, but it will show 
uh, if a room has an enemy or not. And actually, we might as well. No, 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 no. Minimap broken. Yeah, but it'll still share with you over here. Oh. Alright then, I'm sure. Now we just have to figure out which of the enemy types are hostile and friendly. It's the screws that are friendly because that's an outpatient that's heading our way. And there's a screw fighting over there. Oop. And boom. Okay. I think that should have taken care of itself because... Uh, nope, it didn't. Yeah, they, they spit explosive carbonos. They have to explode on contact, which deal quite a bit of damage on this level. <laughs> and yeah, I just flinched away from that thing, even though it's friendly. <laughs> Did it destroy the turret here? You, you it... got me to have to flee from them. Yeah. Uh, let's lock this door, because I presume that's the outpatient spawner. Okay, over here we have the suites where bed based recreation occurs. <laughs> Excellent source of. Okay, so you were correct in that this is basically a brothel. Yeah, mostly because, well, if you go out of the room. Oh, out of the yeah. Oh, no. finally I see the poster you've been going on about. Yeah, but only thing is that all the posters in the hall is half blocked by the sofa. <laughs> okay, we found the stim in the streets so yeah this is just a freaking brothel up here at least it's uh, like the legalized here nope and that one's dealt with even though there is something in there but we can miss one early on we'll we pre survival is preferred because yeah You'll get set back a bit with every death. Let's see. Yeah, th this is... If you think this is dark, there are... It gets a lot darker in uh, certain ships. Where you just where you just plain can't see like two feet in front of you. So, it'd be a nightmare with that dark plus smoke. Yeah. Okay, unlock this. Probably an FTL drive. Or nozzle. <laughs> okay, I should probably start keeping... Up. If I play this through this again... Oh, oil. Uh, oil is a bit of a double-edged sword, with many th like many things in this R. Because it does make things slippery, but we also go faster. Yeah, and I can see we've got my problem if you go too fast. Yeah. You can also slide underneath stuff, though. Or through vents and hello there. Uh, bye bye. I'm just going to wash off whatever gunk it is that you've been shooting at me. Uh, why is there a gun in the janitor's closet? Okay, but luckily we have a way out of here. Otherwise, generally these sanitation closets are locked or only have one entrance. Okay. Uh, Yeah, here we have a dining area, and you'll note that the menu is a bit plain. So, yeah, just about everything in this world is crap sack. We just we just have it a lot crap here because we're stuck in a nebula full of mutated people on a ship that's been looted by pirates. Yeah, I would have been surprised. The only reason I have like, so many onions is because they've been struggling here for so long that it was only onions that have left. Yeah. This... I think this is the first time that I've actually seen one of these locked. And we don't have enough stuff to open it. Are you a perpetual loser from Try your luck. And yeah, some of these locked ships will have... <coughs> will have bedding areas as well. And I'm guessing from the fact that there hasn't been combat music in a bit when uh, when we haven't been in combat, I'm guessing that the uh, outpatients have killed the screws on board. It. Never mind. I'm not. I'm not even sure if. I'm not even sure if screws respawn or not. 
because, well, I've, I've been avoiding them like the plague whenever they appear. You can't kill them with enough firearms and explosives, uh, but you're still better off just plain avoiding them. Okay. Yes, Let's recycle this. So it be better that won't be worth it. Yeah. And I doubt. We okay, we can make the zapper now. This thing is extremely useful because it's a stun gun. Stuns against a target, super effective against mechanical foes. Basically, if you're going onto a ship, you'll want to take this with you. Uh, if there are screws, you can stun those, just run away from them. If there are turrets, you can stun them. Well, there's pretty much always turrets. So you can stun those and just run around them without getting shot in the ass. Uh, yeah. WCG meet its obligations as a good corporate citizen. It might also get you the materials you want to build the things you actually need. Yeah, in general, you don't really want to help you know, recycle things, except when something says that it actually just plain has no use. Because even over here, used to complete part locator, part of that, part of that, part of that, part of some could build something later. Bas this is basically the game saying, hey, you want to keep these around even though you can't make anything with it now. Because, well, you could make something with it later. If it says no use, then you can just recycle them for l for materials. Of course, like it takes a lot more materials to make something than to, uh, well, than to break something. So in general, you want to keep whatever you have some of. That you're hanging around here looking at that glow bulb when you could be at the workbench building a part locator. Uh, yeah, the part locator is a pretty big thing because with this we get access to locate mode. Impressive. Now activate locate mode to find the parts needed for an item you desire. Yeah, now we can use this, we can select Smart. like the regulator. The Steve will now display a green arrow guiding you to the required parts. And well, Max just set it for me. Now on the star map, Those we deep lacerations pal detects are no doubt uncomfortable. Did you know that emergency medical care is available in Zonox vessels? Uh, yeah, that's basically the game. We already saw that Xonox ships have these medical de and over here it's showing this way to metal tube, which would be in the depth in second depth. And no worries, Beryllius. He, sorry if I'm not responding. Driving, yeah, uh, driving goes over uh, responding to <laughs> the <to> streams. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's an hour and a bit of uh, Void Bastards. So let's move to our second uh, game. Also, like I said, there all progress is saved, so this game saves on exit, which is also very nice. A lot of quality of life bits. Now, on to the second game in this roguelite themed something Sunday. Which is, well, Hades. Which I've been playing for... Oh, it gives the options direct X. Okay, I'm, I usually just start these games with the shortcuts and they don't give these things. Oh, let's see. Is OBS going to catch it? Yeah, just as that happens. Just plain simple in main menu. Options, we have some settings, volume, brightness, god modes, instantly makes you tougher, more so whenever you die. Uh, death is not a big deal in the underworlds. Tr try this if you find you're struggling, want to focus on the story or any reason. This is always nice to have in games, because this, <laughs> this game is tough. I've only made it out like once before, and time is player. Uh, nice little thing, so I'll use that. Damage numbers, transmit data, non-identifying gameplay data is sent to Supergiant to help tune the game. Okay. Screen shake, bright curse, so sure you don't lose it. Mouse lock. Oh, oh, there is no escape for your mouse cursor from this window during gameplay. That is good because yeah, I have a second monitor over here and I can move it over now. But if that were to happen during gameplay, that could be a problem. Yeah, um, screen share, oh. please? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Yeah, I, sh I really should just look. No, not that. I should start. Wait, it's not. It's not in there. Okay, so I need to 
now it's in there and I click okay that works I can have it up like this and then move the cursor over without clicking okay you can see it now yep I can see it now okay I, <laughs> I actually hit reset in there controls aim assist when attacking automatically lock onto foes in range attack at cursor dash at cursor that I have this off also, I, I changed out the special button here from Q to Shift because I find it a bit easy. When I'm walking around with WASD, it's easier for me to hit Shift than Q because I'd have to move my finger from A to Q. Uh, once the, in general, I already have my pinky resting on Shift from just gaming <laughs> uh, reflexes. Uh, how would that be called? I When I lay my hand here, I always have my middle finger on W, ring finger on A, pointer on D, thumb on space, and pinky on shift, because those are the most used uh, buttons in gaming. Let's see, I did uh, try myself not to see how I usually hold it, and that's the same screen for me. Yeah, it, it's just, it's just, uh, I have no idea how you'd even call that specifically, it's probably some sort of scientific term on that it's, I think it's even the problem why they moved uh, away from using the arrow keys that are on the keyboard over to yeah W and all those over there for it just happened to be good for the hand yeah because most people are right-handed which will be on the mouse so WSZ makes the most sense for the other hand. There are still games that run by the arrow keys, and I have played games with the arrow keys for quite some time. But if I were to now, I just ha I'd have to hold my hand in front of me like a claw or something. Yeah, I used to use arrow keys and the number keys and the mouse, which actually... In some games, that just works fine, but in games like Guild Wars 2 with Warcraft, it's not a good tactic. Okay. It won't work at all. Right off the bat, we have one thing that I just really like in games whenever offered multiple save slots. Here's my main one. Uh, I, it shows your last mech location. Asphodel is the second area in the game. It shows how many escape attempts you, you've done. I I finally has managed to get out on the 17th. Uh, but there's still things to do after that even. Your total amount of darkness, which is your resource for permanent upgrades. And last time you played, let's start a new one. Uh, hello, hell mode. I suspect you don't want hell mode. For all those unafraid of death and other difficult matters, the pact of punishment will make your hard life harder right away. Set this if you are a veteran of the cycle of death and rebirth, or seeking a pure, more challenging experience. Okay, so that's basically if you've managed to get out already and you just want to start with the. Uh, the real game, <laughs> as some would probably say, right away, activate that. We are not, because we are streaming for story. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. And here we are as Zagreus, the uh, fire-footed prince of uh, Hades, <laughs> and a very chatty one at that at times. When you move around with WASD, we attack with the left mouse. We have a, a second ability to cast, which we can aim and fire with the right mouse button. And since, okay, I don't have access to the special at the moment. Okay. Uh, one thing that this game does very well is just gradually introducing you to more and more of its systems and such. Okay, we can go in here. And yeah, like like any roguelike, we enter randomized areas. And well, we have in where void boss to, in void bosses we could avoid enemies. Here we have to kill each and every enemy that we face. We have a three hit combo. We have these little casters to deal with, and well, these Her those Heracles bastards look alike. 
which take a lot more damage, but are also slow. And there we go. Our first reward. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Yeah, this is Athena, goddess of wisdom, and we get a blessing from her. Each of these, each of the gods in this game, has behold, okay, boons of Athena. Behold the peerless defenses of the grey-eyed goddess. We always get a pick of three. The first blessing that we find in our run, uh, generally the attack, cast, and dash ones. Uh, yeah, these will obviously increase the damage that these do. But in the case of Athena, it'll also allow us to deflect turns, foes, attacks back against them. Athena's ability, uh, uh, Athena's deflect is extremely useful. So let's go with the attack. I know you can't hear me all the way where you are, goddess, but thank you. Yeah. Hmm. One. We can dash around with space, and if we attack right after or during a dash, we do a dash attack. These are upgraded differently as well. Or these can be upgraded with boons as well. If we run into a caster enemy, I can show you what... Well, Deflect speaks for itself mostly. Okay, this is a Chthonic Key. Y you'll always want these. You'll always want to collect those because they unlock more upgrades for you. And yeah, a split path, it shows, it gives a preview of what you can find. Not in the enemies though. Uh, it previews the rewards, and later on it will also show you if there are armored enemies as well. Armor will get introduced to later as well. Because like I said, this game gradually introduces you to, its acts, to the aspects of its gameplay. Yeah. I think I uh, show up, I guess. Mm. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You were saying? I was saying uh, that I heard good things about the company that made this game. That they have no bad games as of yet. The only game that have some critic is to to something about the, this. I had one game that was a bit bad story or something, but in general, other games have been playing good. Yeah, Super Giant Games. I think this is actually their fourth game, oh, in like uh, at least uh, almost a decade. I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I don't they... remember when they started, but they started with Bastion, then Transistor, then that Pyre game that I I don't have too much interest in myself. I and is, is the uh, is the Pyre game that had the, a bit of critics against it that the men were not fan of. Okay, I, I personally don't see. I personally don't think I'd be a, a fan of the uh, football-like uh, gameplay of it. I have Transistor, but I haven't played it much yet, if at all. Yeah. But uh, that'll yeah. definitely be on a, a stream list sometime. The thing I can say about Fire, of what I heard, is it gets very depressing. Okay. So probably not a good thing to stream. Okay, just I'm just doing this right now, adding to the list, Bastion. Uh, have you played past Bastion yourself, perhaps? Nope, I heard of it and seen it in the store, but I never bought it or played it. So I always had something else in mind, but I regret not having a chance to do it. Okay, then we can we can stream Bastion at some point and uh, Transistor after that, because it is it is a good it is just it isn't a good game, it's a great game. <laughs> <laughs> You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there, I have to say. Most intriguing, and yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. Yep, Ares, God of War, and his attack, his special is this Doom inf curse. 
Which, well, after a brief moment, the victim takes a burst of damage. I haven't found this to be too useful myself. And, yeah. Special cast and dash. The, the blade rift, though. That I found to be very useful after I def finally picked it up. So let's pick it on the cast. The to fight. What it does is this. <laughs> yeah, that, that can stack up the damage quite quick. Exit has its own reward. We have two exits, we have darkness and more keys. Let's go for keys. Uh, and here we have our first armored enemy. Uh, before they got stunned when we hit them, oh, and that was a trap. But when an enemy is armored, well, first of all, they have an extra health bar. But they also don't get stunned. Like that. You can still push them around. But, yeah, whilst you're attacking them, they can hit you right back. And also, <laughs> they um, have a chance to drop money and other loot as well, so... Uh, not yet, actually. Oh! That is a, a little upgrade that you can get later on. Oh, okay. Okay! And let's deal with these skulls, the numb skulls as they're called, which are the most basic enemy they're... Uh, yep, that's me deflecting. And it, you can see why that would be really useful later on when there get there are more and more spamming enemies. And it's so weird that you need to have an upgrade maybe get loot from urns. A palm of power. Yep, palm of power. We can power use this gods. to upgrade our boons. And in generally, I go for the attack boons that to be upgraded. Can't heal myself, but I can fight. Okay. Yeah. Let's deal with these quick. I'll be going overtime a bit with this uh, stream, just to be able to show at least a full hour of this game. Yeah, there's always a second round in these chambers. There's the ones that we are, are <coughs> were in there already, and then more will spawn in. Sometimes only they will only spawn when everything in the room has been killed. Some tales they keep spawning, like here, even as you are fighting. Yeah, yeah. The fools. Okay, darkness, like I said, for permanent upgrades. Over here, we have the shop, but we have only a little amount of money. Over here, we can help get a health upgrade. Like, one of the things I really like about this game is that it it's well, it slowly feeds you those syst the systems of it, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't treat you like an idiot. It doesn't hope it doesn't have to take like five minutes per thing to explain what everything does. Yeah, this is very good. Okay, max 25 uh, health up, and we also healed 25 health. Yeah, that's it. If you're gonna explain some experience as good as possible, only use the five minute explanation if something is very complex or complicated. Okay, now you can see a little difference between the two doors. Uh, this over here means that there are armored enemies, but there's also a boon over there. But over here there is no such icon, so here we won't run into armored enemies. Oh, wait, oh come on! Yeah, I think I have the annoyance of some boons, but they give you... Yeah, they take a bit on just a very long time to explain the extremely easy basic. But because it needs too much explaining. But it's been good for some reason. Okay, so I was wrong with that. Maybe it maybe the skull on the door denotes difficulty more. Over there. That'll hmm. keep me going for a bit. Okay, odd. Okay, another choice. Let's go for keys again. I probably I might... I'm thinking with both of these games... So here you can see how my deflect is so extremely useful. 
I'm thinking both of these games we could add as a filler game for something Sunday or when, well, the games that we do try, the other, the, the random games that we try there, if those turn out to be, uh, well, absolute crap. So we could move to Void Bastards or Hades to uh, fill in the remaining time. That makes sense. And like a good idea. And yeah, pressure plates for traps. For this game, we have had some games that our crowd either don't want to be screenshot or want to be recorded or just outright plain plays bad. Okay, the, the door didn't show the armor sign, so why are there armor enemies showing up? Uh, yeah, these these traps are generally a danger to you, but you can also use them against enemies. Wait, wait. What do you think you said almost on a shield with uh, a golden shield? Yeah, the, a, a skull with the, a yellow laurel around it, like these on these armored enemies here. Uh, all right. So that that is a bit of an oddity why they are showing up. Hmm. Maybe maybe, maybe something that I misunderstood because it it is can be a drawback of not explaining things specifically in that well you can misunderstand things. Yeah. Okay, only one door to another boon upgrade. And again, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I didn't see a skull on the door there. something else like a combat event or something yeah, or difficulty okay uh, i think there are supposed to be some uh, rooms where you need to survive long enough to be able to pass on uh, there are rooms like that so if we'll run into that here we'll have to see and uh, people might have pe eagle-eyed viewers might have picked up that sometimes it says things like uh, uh, wall bash or something that is when you push an enemy into a wall that will also deal damage to them or wall slam there and yeah. to get these to get those casts back I have to go collect the crystal again uh, some cast abilities will just act like this and will drop it wherever they end some will be uh, some will force the crystal onto an enemy and then you have to kill the enemy to get the crystal back or it will fall off after a certain amount of time how long specifically I don't know because well typically they don't last that long okay, let's, uh, let's go visit the let's go visit the shop to show this oh that's with the shop symbol all right yeah. Shop. yeah here we have the boatman Karen uh, yeah, get used to this. You won't be able to say understand the word they say. <laughs> we finally have a model. Finally. Why well, good to see you, Caron, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? And I'll just have a look around. Yeah, he he always has three items on sale. Generally, he has food, a blessing, or a boon from a god, which is just one coin out of our reach, and. Yeah, may, at times he has two, I think. Do we need to heal up? Uh, yeah, we want to be healed. And that automatically puts all of this out of our range. Uh, wait, is not the next room a healing room? Nope, that's the boss room. Ooh, right her. Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus. Promising terrifying dangers far beyond the Underworld Princess Reckoning. And I can reckon quite a bit. Uh, yeah, if, when there's glowing points like that, you can interact with them to have the narrator speak up, and <laughs> Zagreus will react to the narrator. Oh yeah, let's see if I've gotten skilled enough to beat this one on the first go here. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> halt, Zagreus. Not one step further. 
Yep, Megara. Fury, first of the Furies. Come on, Mabel. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have someplace else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good little man, or I can send you home in a painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. Yeah, Zagreus will banter with, well, most of the bosses. Uh, and so far I haven't run into any repeat lines yet, I think. A man after my own heart. Uh, here we go then. Okay. Megara is quite the challenge at first. Yeah, that, that but, is something but it takes a long time to reach it. Yeah, she has that AoE attack, she has a dash attack, and whilst we are fighting her, some enemies will spawn as well to distract us. But in general, we want to focus on Megara first. Her line attack is easy to dodge, that, well, the AoE less so. You get wrecked. I didn't think that attack would get deflected. Just deal with these nuisances. You generally want to focus the boss more in, when you're facing Megara. But for now these things are being a pain in the ass. Got hit by the stupid thing. <laughs> Come on. And yeah, another view that shows how useful the deflect can be because we can throw a lot of that back at her. But you do have a delay in your attack between your attack bursts, so you can't rely completely on the deflecting things. Oh, <laughs> only just flip between a few there. That was a waste. Give me the cast again. Yep. Okay, keep that coming. I'll keep sending it back. And I got hit there and I got hit by the mook. Can I? And that's 50% ish. And where's the cast? I don't know if those ads will keep spawning to a certain amount. Oh, she's actively calling them now. Get out of that. this again. Let's not get hit because two or three more. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. She got me with the dash there, I think. That was too much damage for a mook's attack. Still, I got her to half health. And welcome to the house of Hades. Yes, carry on everyone. Don't mind me. <laughs> Welcome to the House of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Hypnos, sleep incarnate. Some of us more than others. And yeah, well, these green things there. around are shades. These are people who have died and, well, are hanging around because, well, <laughs> where else are the dead going to hang? Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how was your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. 
Yep. Hades, the god of the dead. And we're his son, and, well, we want out. Plain and simple. Why and how? We'll see later on in the story. I know, of course, already, but I won't spoil it. Because, like the like the mechanics, the story is drip-fed you, to you. Over, uh, well, as you come back here again and again and again. Because, yeah, you're probably going to die a lot more <laughs> than just that. Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions. From purest joy to deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. And yes, we can pet There's the dog. Boy. <laughs> Do not let him manipulate you, Cerberus. Oh, right. We have a... Being a fool. Oh, hello. Examine. A vast and intricately crafted mosaic depicts the underworld king presiding over the enormity of his domain, whilst its Catholic residents look on in awe of him. He's not really that great. Keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll respond to things we're saying in there. And over here... Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances, remember your training out there. The pain of death is not another obstacle. Achilles, a forgotten hero of Athens, I think. Forgotten? Uh, I... And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. The House of Hades, that dark and lavishly appointed layer of the underworld's king, is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can hear you, old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Supergiant Games likes to lean on the fourth wall quite a bit at times. Can we wake you up again? Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to be keeping track of all the dead that enter here. But, yeah, he's, he's hypnosed. He is sleep incarnate. Of course he's going to fall asleep. <laughs> Come home. <laughs> Do not despair, child. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. We made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. I believe it, Nix. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Yeah. Then go. Nyx, the goddess of night and, well, night incarnate. How goes it, Shanes? Who's to say there isn't another death, another underworld? Yeah, sometimes these shades will have those interaction points as well. Where I don't... It's mostly just uh, flavor text and s jokes. Hey, room. I'm back. Yeah, and here we have our main way of, well, getting stronger. Night and, darkness guide me. and this is why we want those keys, because we can use them to unlock you know, well, more talents. At the moment we have Shadow Presence, Consonic Vitality, Death Defiance, you'll want this a lot, and Greater Reflex. Uh, the in reverse order uh, allows us to dash into the time, restores 50% when we would die. This will heal us every time we exit the room. And this will deal more damage to, well, when we're hitting in the back. At the moment, we can only really get this, so let's... Because every little bit uh, helps as we're exploring. Yeah, uh, yeah, a pretty nice room, I'd say. Oh yeah, especially considering all the griefs. ...lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray. Despite his lord and master of the house, repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Oh, come on, it's not that bad, is it? That doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it's... it... Yeah, it's more messy than my room, I'd say. I do have some stuff lying about, but uh, mostly into actual groups. Yeah. At least if you can walk there, there is something on the floor that to the entry there. They might need to pick up. 
but otherwise not too bad. Hmm. Okay. And we can also use the keys to unlock weapons here. And since we have four at the moment, shown in the lower right corner here, actually my yeah, my camera is over the health bar at the moment, so I might want to unflip this and move it over to the right so people can see that. Uh, let's see, where is that flipping thing here? Transform. Flip horizontal. Okay, there we go. There we go. Baratha, the eternal spear. Join my pursuit. Over here. What the? Yeah, each of these weapons, six in total, have a different play style. Or they, you can play with them differently. The sword over there has the th three, the three hit combo. The spear here, it, well, it's a spear. It stabs, but it can also spin attack. It can also throw it. Uh, oh, it, it seems that the controls are set different. That's why I couldn't activate the special earlier. It resets the controls over here, probably. Yeah, I like those different save files because you can have diff more people than one play a game uh, on their own uh, efforts. So, yeah, let me change that a little bit quick. Yeah, I kind of like that. Though now they mostly, most Steam accounts is meant for one person, and they usually discourage uh, you from sharing. Now, there is the... There is a family uh, library option. It's a bit unstable, I've noticed. You can have mul you can have people link their accounts together, so that if, uh, say, one person has Hades, the other has Void Bastards, if you link their accounts together like that, then uh, the one that doesn't own Void Bastards can play that game when the other person isn't gaming. It isn't it isn't full access because if if the person you are borrowing that game from starts playing any game, then you get kicked out. But it's still a, a very nice option, if unstable, because it's been disconnected like a dozen times from me. Oh dear. In that the libraries get disconnected, so I... I think she got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough of the small talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. <laughs> if you insist. Yeah, Skelly here is our training dummy. Yeah, when we throw the spear, we can recall it by pressing the special button again, or just attacking, which brings it back as well. Oops. <laughs> and yeah, he just respawns over and over again. <laughs> That's actually a, an achievement for killing him 15 times. Oh, bloody. <laughs> oh bastard. Yeah, these dash strikes with the spear uh, I have quite have a long reach like this. But personally, whenever I use this, I just prefer to just dash strikes all over again and again and again. All right, back to work. And yeah, over here we start a new run. And I should probably activate uh, this because it's starting to get a bit dark in here. Might as well turn the backlight on as well. And yeah, it should be no <laughs> it should be an easy guess who this is. Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. <laughs> Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Yeah, Zeus's whole stick is, well, lightning, of course. Let's see. Your attack emits chain lightning when it damages a foe. Special causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. And your cast is a burst of chain lightning that bounces between foes. 
And yeah, it, it sounds pretty simple like this is now. But every god's uh, special effects can be upgraded even further to have secondary effects. So for now, let's go with the rare one here. Lord Uncle Zeus lending his support. Never thought I'd see the day. Or night. Whenever. <laughs> and yeah, when your attack is upgraded, it also upgrades your dash attack like this. It won't as you can see it in the visual effect because now the attacks are yellow. And well, give a shock as sound. Composed of such innumerable, ever shifting, interlocking chambers, the underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain until the end of time. Good thing I'm not dead. Alright. More louds. These these guys their only real attack is just to charge you. Same as the numb skulls, but of course they these guys have a lot more health because of their um, bulk. This can unlock something back home. Ah, let's see now. We <clears throat> okay, something is going on internally, it seems. Oh yeah, personally, I if I can get a blessing from Athena, I will beeline for it. Because that deflect can be just so extremely useful. Your father Hades and my father Zeus have not communicated in some time. And Zeus refuses to explain. Something transpired between the two of them. Perhaps you know better than I. Okay, now we have some other uh, <coughs> boons that we can pick from because it's al it's always three. The first one you get is always just attack, cast, and dash, or special. But yeah, now I'm I'm going for this one. But let's check here. Sure footing resist damage from traps. O okay, reduce damage from traps by seventy five percent. That that is quite strong. <laughs> and holy shields yeah. damage after you take damage damage for news around you and briefly deflect. I would say that this is probably the least useful of the uh, deflect abilities. But let's go with this one. Strength of the goddess. And yeah, as is obvious, once a room is cleared, the traps are deactivated. So this game makes me wonder about Athena. For this is the only game I ever uh, called her the grey-eyed goddess. You may wonder if that's actually a thing. I'm not sure. I, I'd have to check my mythology books. Therefore, if you want to zoom, I wonder is it creative creativity or is that actually a thing that many people know about? Like, many things due to popular culture that Fourier is blonde, but mean, meanwhile, in runestones, they very much depict the four to be tall, muscular, redhead. Uh, yeah, Marvel is mostly responsible for the blonde sword thing. <laughs> Marvel and uh, I think it was some Swedish Renaissance, you know, will uh, Swede should be blonde, idiocy. I think it sure that we have many blondes, but brown hair I think is more common even. Ah, over here. This symbol means that there isn't actually combat here, just someone to talk to. And who in Hades would it be? Beyond? Hey, Princess. Must look like I'm slacking off with the old boulder here, but I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury Sisters don't often leave me be. Where'd they go, anyway? And, um, what are you doing here? Yep, Sisyphus, the king who managed to trap death itself to, well, and after that, even outsmarted Hades himself. But in exchange, his eternal punishment is to keep rolling a boulder up a hill over and over again. And even when he finally reaches the top, it'll just roll back all the same. <laughs> well, you know, on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor though, you see the Fury Sisters, let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, your highness. I'll just go about my business now and you take care. And yeah. When each of these characters will offer us three options, in this case, 
Uh, we only we're only missing seven health, so let's get some darkness. Certainly, Highness. And he gives a good amount as well. You know you can talk to the stone, right? I actually had no idea you could, so I did, I'm not getting an option here. Oh, come now. You show the Are you supposed to? For he can actually even give you blessings if I remember right. Unless they remove that. That that sounds completely like a joke. I seen it. Though maybe you can't do it yet. Also a good chance, and well, it's an easy guess whose symbol this is. Oh, uh, mini boss. Yeah, these jackasses you'll see plenty as well. Oh, and yeah, they throw bombs. They just keep up the heavy attack. And once their armor is broken, they're dead meat. Or, well, even deader bones. <laughs> and, uh, that was revelry? People having a good time? Well, sure then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I'll accept this message. Hey there, Zag man. How's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. Dionysus, the god of wine. He's, yeah. very, he's very pixelated for me at the moment, except his drink. <laughs> Jay? Uh, yeah. Dionysus' power special effect is Hangover here, which is basically poisoning, which has been proven useful. I managed to beat uh, Meg, Meg. I managed to beat Meg on the third try with that by just poisoning her over and over again. And yeah, people will have noticed by now that there's also rarities to these, which well, the, <laughs> the higher the rarity, the stronger it is. On lower rarities, I think this does like three or five damage. Yeah, we'll probably be picking this. Let's see. Positive outlook. Look, <clears throat> you'll take less damage while at 40% health or below. 15% damage resistance. Personally, I haven't found damage resistance to be too useful because I prefer to just dodge damage all right out completely. And premium vintage. Gain, gain max life when picking up nectar. Receive one nectar now. Okay, Nectar is also quite something because it you can gift uh, it to other characters and in exchange, for at least for the first time, they will give you a trinket in return. Alright, oh that's what that's the thing, you can give Nectar to the boulder. Okay, then we're grabbing that. <laughs> to liven things up around here. Who should I give this to? And yeah, after the first time you will get more and more dialogue out of characters. If when you give them nectar. Wretches. But your first priority with nectar is should be to give everyone some. Yeah, for story and yeah, many things really. Yeah. Like if you really want to learn the story, that's one of the best ways to do it. Time to collect. Okay, more health, and we can go visit Chiron again, but we ha only have a little so let's go over here. I think there is a list in game that tells you how much you can give them before if you really have to give them more. Uh, yeah, that's the codex. We haven't unlocked that because that's also a part of, well, gradually unlocking things for you so you don't get overwhelmed. The underworld's power. Let's see. Okay, money or another palm of power. In generally, I prefer to go to these if I have any attack boons. If I only have some support boons, I typically don't need. Well, I typically have little need to uh, well get them upgraded. So it, it probably would have been best if I'd taken a moment there to look at my boons, which you can do with the B button. But it doesn't pause the game. So that's best kept for after a room has been cleared. Also something that I haven't spoken about yet is those projectile attacks, you can deflect them, but you can also destroy them by hitting them. Ooh. Delicious. Let's see, Lip. Yeah, I probably could have would have been better if I had gone the other way. 
Uh, let's go for little upgrades like that then. We have B, we have our lightning strike, rare, level 2. If you put it, palms of power upgrades them not in rarity but in level, which generally causes more damage and such. Premium vintage, that'll, if we upgrade this, it, well, no. If we could have upgraded that, it would have probably given us more life. So I'm guessing the palms are more restricted to the active uh, weapon abilities. Okay. The, the more you play, the more you learn. Here we have gems. These are used for other upgrades. I could have easily dodged those attacks, but I got a bit cocky, which is something you should look out for as well when you're playing, because these first level Tartarus eventually will be easy for you uh, if you get if you don't get unlucky with the room choices. Gemstones, colorful. But the other areas will be far from easy. Yeah, <laughs> you can get pretty brutal. Yeah, Elysium is the place where I've died the most. I'm pretty sure of that. With Elysium being the third area here. An area when the one would expect to be the most peaceful one. Well, it's it's filled with the best warriors that have ever lived, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course it has the strongest opponents. Okay, another key. Um, yeah, let's go visit Chiron because the attacks we have, at the boons we have at the moment, don't get too much from uh, upgrading. And let's get a bit more health. Again with that one coin away. you are a sight for sore eyes there, Charon. So, looks like you're selling. Is that it? You come to help me out? I have to say, I like the designs of all of these characters. It, they really put a lot of work into that. Yeah, the few times I actually watched it for was a lot, he still didn't have an, an own model. So I'm happy he actually has one now. Okay. And they... it, 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 it took many updates, many updates before he got one. So this yeah. is what's coming in, I guess. And we could gift Charon the nectar, but I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to save it up for now. Yeah, might be a good idea. Hello, mate. Uh oh. <coughs> I was stubborn, Archeo. Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. Maybe persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. Oh god, I don't mind it. Well, yeah, if I watched it, uh, play the game, he actually read the reviews and someone really burst the game, this game, and complained that all the females in this game look like boys, which he and even me disagreed with. And then he did a reach out about the review and realized he, oh, that the review only played very cute anime games. Yeah, of course. So yeah, he had no right to be that critical about the design choice if he only played that. Uh, each their own taste, of course, but... Uh, yeah, this game is just going to shove a pair of big boobs in your face with each of these characters. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, I don't even think there were that kind of games to begin with, but... Still, yeah. No, there are different art styles and different ways to portray male and female and all that. And yeah, I, I have to say that these ones do not look like men. Like, I, yeah, I, I was a bit baffled by it. Okay, we're already at 50%. Or, yeah, below it. Come on, Meg. So, is your extra powers? 
because she has something more beyond this. Yeah. The, the only character I feel like that is a bit haunted to put them in gender is one of her sisters, but... Yeah, that sister is something... Um, yeah, something with her. Yeah, we'll, we might see them if we do play this game more often to fill in time in something Sunday. And maybe sometimes we'll just uh, play just to play. Because this, this is a great game. I've played it a ton already since I started. Yeah. Because similar to Void Bastards, uh, you're making progress every time you play. And here we go with the last attack. Yeah, I'm probably not play it myself, but I definitely enjoy walking for the story. I have two roguelike or roguelike games, but I very much give up on them for a bit of a bit unbalanced. Come on, Mag, let's finish this. Dash is pretty... Oh, there we... What <laughs> What got her? Did... Did she kill herself on a trap? <laughs> Let me see. I have a, a phone here. Okay, I missed that still. <laughs> oh, did she... <laughs> did she crash herself into the pillar and get herself crushed? <laughs> but, yeah. Defeating Meg gives us Titan Blood. No, One time with every weapon. Going. And then we get over here. How did you... Uh. Don't mind me, father. Yeah. Between areas, we can heal up at these fountains. We can upgrade how much those gives with the gems. We can also shop. And uh, yeah, let's heal up. Uh, I generally don't take too many of these because they're, their lengths are you know, probably they're probably balanced well enough, but I prefer to have these blast as long as possible. Uh, which, yeah, you have an empty space over here. This would be for your trinkets. If we'd given Charon the nectar, he would have given us the bone hourglass, which will, well, extend the l how long these go. A very Ooh. useful one, I'd say. And yeah, you can switch your trinkets between areas. And over here, can we can sell is. our powers. Uh, yeah, let's keep them both. Never gone this far. Yeah, you don't have many to begin with. Yeah, the the lightning one is just useful for playing more damage, and well, the dash. Now we're getting somewhere. You'll always want something to deflect. Because that is yeah. going to make things so much easier. And that reminds me, I can't find a com Wasn't this whole expanse once lush and green? Yeah, you can you can enjoy the view in each of these areas. I probably could I could have shown <laughs> it at the House of Hades before, but the once verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon. Whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. I'm only flame resistant, not flame proof. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be getting back to the House of Hades plenty of times whenever we would be playing this game. <laughs> yeah, and let's see, what was I? I want to say something, but I forgot what. Alright, I find a comic called that. The symbol, like when you move up and load, is a uh, Hades mustache. I, I think it's more his beard, I uh, think. Oh, trust me, it's his mustache that he has went in that manner. <laughs> uh, it's also more supposed to be a Bident, which, well, this thing we're using is a Bident. And, well, Hades once wielded this thing, so technically the symbol is this spear. So, he has shaped his mustache to resemble it. <laughs> okay, new area, new enemies. Uh, Starting off with these little bastards. What they do is, well, they fire energy waves. And, yeah, the 
energy bolts, those can be destroyed. The energy waves, you can't break those by attacking them. So if you don't have deflect, you'll just, you'll have to dodge them. And yeah, these jump around like a, a kangaroo <laughs> on coffee. Got to hold on. And then, well, we have normal skeletons as well. Yeah, this whole area's stick is skeletons and well, magma. Also, the yeah, these smoke craters. They will block. They will obscure your vision a bit, but not too much. On my authority. Let's see. Money and well, I don't need to explain to anyone who has even a <laughs> this minor, the most minor of um, mythological knowledge of who the trident belongs to. Tim Burton. Now is the time of people. I'm not that dumb. Okay, I don't see how we killed the second one there, but I don't mind it dying that easily. Uh, these guys drop their... Uh, all of these bomb you know, beasts throw... You know, drop a bomb when they die, so you want to be away from them when they are. Crashing waves. The truth sunk number two. It's got to be. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Oi there, liberal Hades. You recognize your uncle, do you not? We've a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Yep. And Hades' stick is knocked back. And hey. also... Uh, he, he also has powers that gives you extra well, materials from if you gather them. Let's see. Your special deals more damage and knocks enemies away. Flood cast. Your cast damage is thrown in the area and knocks them away. Your attack and special are stronger in the first 10 seconds in encounters. Personally, I don't really like this one because it's only in the tenth, first 10 seconds and, well, it can last quite a bit in some fights. Uh, yeah, let's look at the cast then. Nice, and I think you accidentally called them Hades. Yep. Did I? Yeah, I think so. You actually did it. Uh, accidentally called Poseidon Hades. Okay, probably did, yeah, yeah, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, Poseidon's whole stick is knockbacking like that. And, well, AoE attacks. Oh, and we have Gorgons. Well, the, yeah, Gorgons also no real need to explain. Uh, they will petrify you if you get hit by those attacks, but you can knock them away with the flags. Here's the thing, people. Medusa was a person, but she was a Gorgon. And think of many fancy games, including Heroes of Might and Magic and many more, they actually named creatures Medusa when they supposed to call them Gorgon. I forget if Dungeons and Dragons... I know Dungeons and Dragons has a, a Medusa-like species, but I'm not sure what they are called. They also call Medusa for... It's another thing that also implemented a problem. There's an old bestiary, but it's a, it's a scaled armored bull, which they accidentally, in so many, in back in the Middle Ages, were unsure what to call it, so they also named it Gorgon. Okay, and uh, yeah, sometimes, I, I so far I've only seen it in Asphodel here, sometimes you get a room where you get a pick of three areas, so I'm a bit torn between, uh, torn between Athena and Dionysus, but we already have a deflect ability, so I'm going with Dionysus. Yeah, so, let's see here, I think there is, yeah, but that came out, it was in the Middle Ages. So the one room it was not Greece. Oh, I did not mean to go in here, but yeah, oh this is a special room that sometimes shows up in this area. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, now we have oh these things. You want to get rid of those quick? Why? Because of that. They give Im they grant temporary immunity to enemies. 
Oh dear. I almost forgot about this whole thing. And they have... It's a bit more decorative now. Yeah, the barge of the dead. Yeah, it used to be a bit more plain. Like, less bones and such. Oh, away with you. Yeah, not, I personally don't like knockback too much either. But it can be used for in go moving around enemies a lot and just knocking them into walls to stun lock them. And yeah, if, if you stand in magma, you start taking damage, of course. Yeah. Olympus, I accept this message. Uh oh. Let's see, your special inflicts hangover. If you're low, it's your health is low after encounter is restored to the trestle. This is a very useful power. Or boon after party. And we've already seen positive outlook, so yeah. This one is use really useful if you can get it early on and you have trouble. Of course, if you're doing well and you don't take a lot of damage, that at first it will be uh, use uh, probably useless for a while. And yeah, these enemies, you can see now why you'd want to deflect at at least one deflect ability whenever you can. Even though, well, you you can't just break their attacks by attacking them. But yeah, no more are going to spawn. Uh, I've I've died quite a bit of times to these splitter enemies. That, that's what they're called, splitters. And I, I might actually die <laughs> to them again here. There was a bomb that was thrown at me. And yeah, these casters will also often try to hide in the corner of their maps if you push them towards there. Because they, they'll try to be away from you at all times. And hello, we have another well here. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, we're taking that. Let's see. Cast deals 50% damage. Pa you strike 50% damage against undamaged foes. Nice, but I'm going to save up the cash. And... No, we're not there yet. We're not yet to the second boss. And I can say uh, safely that I beat the second boss on my first attempt. Though I will admit that I saw someone play against... I saw someone fight and beat it before that. Uh, the people from o Overly Sarcastic uh, Productions, was it? Get the peace time? OSP. They're, they're the uh, animated uh, mythology and history people. Uh, red and blue, as they are called on the show. Or on the videos. Which, it's actually a smart thing. It's... Because... Yep. Yeah, People aren't too great with memory at times, me specifically included in that. I feel stronger. Let's see, is there no shop around here? The, uh, the <coughs> any altars in a room are locked, of course, until the well, until the, the door has been the doors have been unlocked. And, yep, here we are, we're going to face the boss. And let's see if I can beat him again at this first time, and let's gift that nectar. I'm to you, goddess, for all that you and your side of the family have done for me. Well, it simply isn't in my nature to allow such offerings to go unanswered, noble cousin. In turn, I wish for you to have this, with my compliments. Lady yep. Athena, thank you. New keepsake, the Owl Pendant. And now we accept the boon. Let's see, stronger, a special, deflect, blinding flash. Your abilities that can deflect also make foes exposed. Which, well, for five seconds, they take more damage from behind. And bill oh, brilliant repose. When you deflect attacks, it deals more damage. You can, of course, only get this if you have an a deflecting attack. 
And I ah, there it is. Having traversed the flaming river Phlegathon to gain this vantage point, relentless Zagreus must now confront a foe of unimaginable savagery who lies ahead, awaiting patiently its time to strike. Way to spoil the surprise, old man. <laughs> there we go. On to the boss. Um, hello. Oh, great. Yep, yeah, Lunarian Bone Hydra. Probably misspelled that, but yeah. You can already take a guess at how this will go. Yeah, it's probably this same damn Hydra that Hercules killed. Yeah, in the codex it specifically says that it is the same Hydra. Now, of course, uh, stripped of all of its flesh and bone. Stripped <laughs> of its flesh down to its bone. Yep. And why do they say Lenium Bone Hydra? Yeah, and once we get it down to its two thirds of its health, it starts spawning its heads. The green ones here are spawners. They will spit out eggs, which will hatch into enemies. Oh, like those. Uh, yeah, this, the smaller heads of the... There's just mostly annoyances, and if you destroy the eggs, of course, no enemies. And it seems that all of the heads have been green spawners. Okay. But the big head will still come after us. Come on, let's deal with you two. I kind of like they actually use a very old school style there with the... Uh, yeah, each neck, uh, neck piece is a separate piece. And actually make it look good. Yeah. In older games, when they did that, it, yeah, it just looked good. Yeah, and of course, the more we damage this thing, the more dangerous attacks become. Though, in, oh, in general, look, you can stand out over here and it can't reach you except with, uh, well, the spits. And yeah, those come out a bit too fast to be able to all be de de deflected with the dash. Okay, another spawner head. I think you can use the blink as a, uh, as a blocking point. Uh, yeah, you can hide behind the scenery. And let's see, we have a blue head here. And we have it no more, but there's a second one over here. What did you do again? Yeah, all of the heads have a bite in that stomp, of course. Uh, are you going to do anything special, or is it just that you can stomp? Okay, I'm guessing the blue heads are the more physical attackers. Yeah, there are more colors of heads beyond this. But, yeah, once we've dealt with these, we'll only have the main head to deal with. And I'm just in race of its stomp. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Come on, last round. Stick that on you. Probably will want to keep a bit of distance here because we can die in a few more hits. Have literally one health away. Okay, just let's be boring. Oop. Come on. I know I can beat you. Okay, now one of those got real close. Oop. And there we go. With one health left. Bloody heck. Hydra vanquished. And oh, we're at an hour. Actually over. But... Yeah, let's keep going until we die. Because, well... 
Elysium is the hardest part. So we are just we are going to die here. Go on and try. Alright. Let's heal up a bit more. Uh, we don't really have a use for another cast. We are getting it upgraded. And here we are, Elysium. The fields of Elysium. And it's still green. Just need to storm my way through that eternal paradise. Yeah, people would need to clean up here though, because there's moss every fucking where. I'm guessing you could call this the green hell then? <laughs> reserved for only the most great of mortal souls spread forth luxuriantly all about the fire stepping prince luxuriantly really okay palm of power or money we yeah the, these I wouldn't really need once upgraded or Cast da dash damage isn't really worth it to upgrade, I'd say. Cast may be dependent on what type of cast it is. Like uh, <coughs> Ares's Blade Rift, that is worth it to upgrade it because that deals a lot of damage. And yeah, just a plain damage, a flat damage boost like this, I would also say no against upgrading. Percentage damage boons, I would say yes to upgrading. So we're going over here. Right sword. And yeah, these enemies are the biggest annoyance here because of that. They can respawn if... Nope, that one got in front of traps. If you let these little bastards get to their weapons... They'll re try to regenerate. You can interrupt them, but once you hit, once you start fighting big groups of these, you can easily lose track of them. Yeah, and then you need to pick up their own sword. Any sword should work, if I remember right. Yep. Okay, these witches are easier to deal with. Or actually, I think these are called splitters. Um, what were the other ones called then? Uh, I think they called them bright swords. Uh, no, not the we the the witches in the previous area that were just spitting oh. out wave after wave. No idea. Okay, healths or Dionysus? They're, they're Dionysus. Is it Dionysus or Dionysus? Hmm. Good question. I rarely hear his name spoken of. Uh, let's go see if they see it. Let's say it just to find out. Oh, these things. Yeah, these these will these will full on charge you. And they can deal quite a bit of damage, and well, they are tanky as well. Uh, nope. No, you don't. Oh, and there we have a... I think they are called a Soul Sucker. Well, they certainly look like a giant <laughs> candy sucker, or, or a jawbreaker, or however you're supposed to call those things again. Yeah, they, they will shoot out a constant ring of those butterflies, but they can be killed like normal projectiles, but you can't deflect them. See special inflict drunken dash. Your dash causes hangover several times near where you started. We'll replace the fine dash. We do not want this. We that's our only deflect power, so we are keeping that. And uh, let's see, positive outlook again, but at a lower rarity. Mm. Let's go with this. And what do we have over here? Another heal. Damage to armor. Damage to armor is really nice because, well, as I said, armored enemies 
do not get stunned or do not flinch when you hit them, which can make them a real threat. Yeah. So let's take so. that and that, and then we still have enough to buy a boon at Charon's. Let's see, what do you have now? Yeah, boon, heal, and palm. Why not? Lightning flash again, holy shields again, and bronze skin. Fun I'm guessing if you manage to stack up a bunch of these reduced damage or damage reduction uh, boons, that it would really help because you ha can have a bunch of these uh, non attack related ones stack up. It's let's just go with that then. The we can't talk to him again. Let's see, Zeus or Palm? Mm. Let's actually go for the Palm because we have the hangover power now. And well that that poison damage can really stack up. Oh. Another exalted enemy type spears this time. They mechanically function the same, but their attacks are different. And yes, uh, the soul. Oh no, not the these little bastards. Uh, they can respawn at any weapon. So even if you if you kill. If you've killed a spearman before, it can uh, pick up. Its spear can be picked up by the archers uh, or swordsmen, or even the shield bearers, which is the last of the enemy types, or last of the exalted enemy types. Also, a difference in Elysium here is that these traps respawn. Give it a bit of time. And there we go. Oh dear. Let's see. Zeus with a higher higher difficulty or more health yet again. Let's go with health. Strongbows. Yep. Bowmen, swordsmen, spearmen, and shield bearers. Also, Elysium has the most traps of every area. Which, well, with these statues here, for one. So you want to really keep an eye out for where you're standing. Like there, I could have easily been skewered there. No, you don't. And I got speared anyways now. Uh, as a, you can use the traps against your enemies as well. Like, I could try and push this guy in front of the spears. And that, that pink crosshair over Zacharias, it means that one of the archers is taking aim. So that's a good visual notification that yeah, yours, there's an attack coming. I did not know that. I'm sure that's new, or I just did not notice because how much it was happening on the screen. <laughs> yeah, there is quite a bit that's going on at any time. And yeah, these little bastards are suicide bombers. And yeah, as you saw there, you can you can deflect you can deflect trap projectiles as well if you don't. Be an idiot like me and get yourself stuck by them. Anyways. Yeah, you want to stay away from those little jackasses. Yep, and I got hit by this trap there. Uh, what thing? You unfortunately so much damage than you got hit. Okay. Let's grant me strength. Oh. No choice to upgrade the poison this time. Hmm. Yeah, that da dash damage is generally not worth it, I'd say, except for maybe Zeus's, because that that can stack up quite a bit if you just keep dashing around an enemy. Mm. 
Let's go with the basic attack one. And let's keep all of our stuff. Let's see, Poseidon again. Let's see if we can get the final type of power, though it does it seem to be unlocked here. Uh, we'll have to see. And yeah, for some reason these things sound like cats. Get what can be deflected and what cannot be at times, because these explosions seem to be getting de deflected at times. Even more. And now with the exalted mixed in and armored. Yeah. Armored exalted are probably the um, the most dangerous normal enemies in the game. Especially because the armor translates over to their souls as well. Um. And come on, there we go. Uncle Poseidon, in the name of Hades. Let's see, breaking waves. Slamming foes into barriers creates a watery blast in the area. Your boons with knockaway effects deal bonus damage to bosses. Okay, I haven't seen that one before actually. Mostly because I don't pick Poseidon too much. Your and boons with knockaway also rupture foes. Take damage while moving. Okay. 10 damage every fifth of a second. That's 50 damage per second. I'm taking that. Nice, and I didn't know they had boost damage against bosses, and yeah, I never heard of that, actually. Getting a sure. lot of boons in this. You know, I've seen games where, there yeah, are many games where bosses have uh, elemental weakness and stuff, but a weapon that does bonus damage against only bosses? That's a piece of it new. Let's see. Come on, give up the power. Come on, then. No, they blocked it, of course, because we got shields. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, this, this was a special stream just to show off, well, these two games, and they are good games. Well, I, I heard it. Hades probably just probably is <laughs> Hades just plain is a better game and that's one respawn there. I'm oh pretty yeah. sure. Even though they could have um, made a mistake for they have the early access on Epic Store, then later will allow to open a uh, of a year on Steam. Yeah, but one that also goes to show that if a game is upgraded, is updated over time, it can really just become even better. Yeah. I'm just glad they were smart about not to block themselves away from Steam. Or otherwise, it could ruin them. Yeah. Hangover also makes enemies move slower. Let's see. Will it inflict it on nearby foes every four seconds? You more damage while three or more foes are hangover afflicted. Yeah, this, this shows the uh, buffs you can get if you... Uh, Get a lot of buffs from one of the gods. But let's go with that one for now. Let's see, where's the exit? Okay, a centaur, heart, or Charon. Let's go for Charon because I think we're close to the bosses. Yes, centaur bosses. Heart. Never heard of centaur heart before. Yeah, that's the uh, the health the health of things. Oh, alright. Use this. 
See, bad influence, no. You take less damage while 40 or below. Let's go with that. Because, yeah, I actually didn't expect we'd be getting to the Elysium boss here. Or like I said, bosses, which you'll see in just a second here. Because I'd say this is the most difficult boss in the game. step toward the light of day so long as I am here two against one seems hardly fair oh well let's kill him and be done king yeah this these two are the toughest because well there's two of them we have Theseus the, uh, one of the kings of Athens and well Asterius also known as the Minotaur Yep, not many know that he has actually have a name. It, it even the bull of Minos. <laughs> Theseus, the bull of Minos. You two are legends. I'd be honored if we had a sporting contest here. Ah, uh, a naked attempt to sway me from my convictions. Defend yourself, you blackguard, and may the gods show you some mercy, for I shall not. And yes, Theseus is an asshole. And yeah, both. Yeah, the Minotaur is a big ass melee attacker. Uh, while Theseus is just going to pester us with a fucking spear of his. The strategy I found that works against him is just to focus down the Minotaur first. If, even though that spear can hurt like hell, like was shown there. Nope. Oh, come on. Yeah, you want to be behind him at near all times. And I accidentally... Sp I <laughs> actually reflected the spear there. Yeah, you can deflect on the way back and... Oh, hello. Yeah, that deals a lot of damage if that hits. Spear again. You can see why he is so freaking annoying. That spear does a lot of damage. Yep, and if I remember right, you should try to switch the back and forth between damaging them. Uh, have you beaten them before? Yes. Alright, good. Then you know what happens uh, otherwise. Yeah, th which is why I'm focusing the Minotaur. And yeah, you can damage Theseus by throwing his spear back at him. Up like there. <laughs> and, well, as I'll show here... Oh, come on, face me, you jackass. He has that shield, which will block all damage from the front. Okay, he got himself stuck there. Uh, can we at least get the Minotaur into his second phase? One more hit. And there we go. Yeah. It it gets really hectic trying to dodge that spear of his that he will keep throwing over and over and over again. And the Minotaur's wide sweeping attacks. And yeah, back here. So before we end, let's look around a bit more. It's usually pretty quiet, keeping watch over the pool of sticks back there, but it's sure been busy lately. Why, somebody else came through just earlier. You should have seen the look on my face when it wasn't you. Okay. Interesting. I'm guessing he means Meg with that, because she also gets teleported back here if, when, whenever we kick her ass. I think everyone uh, comes out there. And he falls asleep again. <laughs> Bestowing on them all their worthless blessings here within my realm. Our realm. Explain to me how exactly this is possible, Nix. Either your limitless power has considerably waned, or you are up to something. Do not question my power, Hades. Your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Heart and darkness, do not speak to me about their influence. I've seen their influence firsthand. 
You've made a foolish mistake. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You cannot change the course that has been set. Try all you like. Ditch. And yeah, practically every time that you return here, you'll get a bit more story and Believe me, you'll be returning here quite a bit. <laughs> yep, it's busy. Speaking well lately, all three mouths full and happy. Basically, you almost get punished story-wise if you're being too good. <laughs> yeah, even it's then, you'll be returning more. again and again. Eternal watchdog Cerberus responds affirmatively, one after the next, as if to reassure the ever doubting prince. If I don't patch your other heads, don't bite my arm off. Deal? Okay, and we'll look around here a bit more before we end the stream, because this is just a great game. I've, I've heard people talk about that it could probably rank up among the best games of all time. I haven't seen okay. you in a while, lad. You made it to Elysium last time, didn't you? I did, Achilles. It's crawling with great warriors still looking for a fight. It's not exactly what I was expecting. Your father's marshaled the most willing ones to deal with you. Doubtless there's much at stake in it for them, if but the pride of having done the task. Although I think that pride will always be their weakness. Their pride? I'll remember that. Okay, we have some more areas over here. We have Hate, you know, Hades' room himself. Uh, even I don't have access to that yet, and over here is something as well, which I also don't have access to yet on my main save even. To the both of them, just to make clear that. And Busy. now that we've got gems, we have this. And you were wanting to say something? Yeah, was this, you say, is the dining area open yet? Not yet. What once was a small lounging area within the House of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart, warning the missing prince. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. Yeah, apparently Cerberus has uh, separation anxiety. <laughs> Some sort of special offer for me, my good shade. And yeah, here we can add more, a few more rooms uh, to the... <coughs> to the randomizer, first of which is the Fountain Chamber in Tartarus. Work authorized. A Fountain Chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. Oh, that one, one was for free. Yeah. Ooh. And the Keepsake Collection. Uh, this, this will add in the Keepsakes box between every region. And well to... Uh, lounge? Okay, not available yet. As with everything, things will open up as you uh, play and die and fight. Okay, let's keep let's yeah, add we that one. Of the underworld ought to be a little livelier with this. Okay. And well we can't enter here yet, but we can find Meg here. When the prodigal son returns, everyone's saying I went easy on him, Zag. Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. If you pass me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're going to be so lucky next to a meet out there. Yeah, all of these characters are well written and likable in their own ways. Let's see, we have a bit here to go. We can get uh, one death advice, but as you can see, these spike in cost. You can make it a maximum of, of three. And the last one costs a thousand darkness. So you'll either be grinding a lot for that. Feeling good. Or well you'll be getting <coughs> you'll be getting darkness from another source, which we haven't unlocked yet here. And let's have one more look here. Skelly, about time you showed up. Hey Skelly, you look like you know your way around Tartarus. Found some of this ancient Titan blood out there, and I was looking to score some more. Ah, uh, you've come to the right place regarding that there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're gonna get. For the time being, anyhow. 
How am I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with then? I don't know. There's always the invention of writing stuff down. You'll figure something out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Over here we now have the keepsakes box. Got something new to try. And yeah. All of the gods have one of these, and other characters as well. Everyone in the House of Hades, uh, like Achilles, uh, Nyx, Hypnos, all of them give a boost f whilst you have them. And is that thunder in, in bright day? The hell? Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm guessing that's to counteract that uh, rainbow you saw yesterday. <laughs> But it, yeah, it can happen, but it probably means there's an actual thunderstorm approaching. Yeah, but we're ending soon, anyways. Okay, we can select the owl pendant, which is very useful because the next boon you find will be from Athena. Her blessings have a 10% chance to be rare or better, and my headset is running out of battery. And if we clear 25 encounters with this, it'll rank up, which will increase. The chance of getting a rare or better boon. So if, if I start with this, we'll immediately have access to one deflecting attack. <laughs> All set. And yeah, since I have some keys, I'll unlock these other two. Open up. Aegis, shield of chaos. Lend me your power. This thing is also very useful. It has a short range attack, which knocks back like that. Uh, but you can also hold the attack to block incoming attacks from the front. Uh, not sure if there are attacks that will pierce that. And yeah, when we release, we rush forward to well, deal damage and push back anything in front of us. Very useful for uh, dealing with enemies in trap rooms. And let's see... Okay, it doesn't have a power shot. And like Captain America, we can throw it around. Not too useful on its own, but it can be upgraded as well. And then we have... The heart seeker. Yep, Let's a bow. Yeah, just that? aim, shoot, and if you let go on once the bow is flashing like that, it'll deal more damage. Our special is a rapid volley like that. And as everything, there's a dash strike, though with this one it's a bit weaker. Actually, no. Hmm. What was the... Did you have a dash attack? Yeah. Probably with more knockback. But... Oh, before we go. I said I'd show this. I can do this. First get past the retro shades of Tartarus. Easier said than done. And doubtless I'll be running into Meg. The river of flame ought to be just beyond. Okay, farthest chamber reached from 37. After that. All right, let's give it another shot. Yeah, the the artwork with this is just great, isn't it? Yeah, it is impressive. But for now, let's just go back here for it to save. And that is where we'll call it then. An extra long stream. Nearly three hours long <laughs> of, well, two very good roguelite games. And yeah, as I said earlier, but I'll repeat here just in case. If ever on Something Sunday, all of the games that I've prepared for it end up sucking, we'll, add, we'll probably jump to one of these games instead. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, there is still a ground that we'll have to continue a bit with, but I'm thinking I'll just put that on Saturday every now and then. For now though, our main show, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, will continue. And well, other than that, let's check anyone who has been watching. Let's see, once more... I'm going to ignore people, or I'm going to ignore names here that look like they are bots. So, social so Twitch Discord. Again, if you are not a bot, speak up sometime. Let's see, Rogue Girl. Thank you for watching. Stay rogue, and uh, maybe light. <laughs> Commander Root. 
Thank you as well. Another TV viewer, also. Uh, both of those have also been on Beanie streams. Uh, but I think he has said those might be bots as well. But again, speak up. And I uh, speak up to show that you are human. If not, I will start ignoring you at some point. And of course, as always, special thanks to Dirk here. Oh, you're most welcome. And yeah, next time, more bloodstains. Until then, until then. Stay safe, folks.